Let's talk about everything you need to know about every trim level offered on the all-new 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. There are five trim levels offered, with options for front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, hybrid, or non-hybrid, so which one's right for you? Let's find out. In this video, we'll be covering standard features and standard safety features on the Santa Fe, as well as each trim level and configuration offered with their prices, and what features are included at each level, plus the interior and exterior color options for each. Next, we'll look at nationwide inventory numbers to see what availability looks like. We'll wrap up with our top picks segment, where we'll tell you which one we might choose. If you don't look too closely at the off-road footage of this sharp, angular SUV with its epic, statement-making design, you might think you're looking at some new Land Rover model. One glance at this handsome interior with upscale materials and technology, you may think you're looking at something with a price tag approaching six figures. However, if you clicked on this video, you'd know you're looking at the all-new, completely redesigned 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe, not a Range Rover. And you might be delighted to learn that you won't be spending anywhere close to the cost of a legendary British off-roader. Hard to believe this is the evolution of a car that started its run looking like this. These videos, along with the majority of other reviews on YouTube, and especially most of Hyundai's own marketing materials, do show this top-of-the-line, decked-out calligraphy trim, which could land you around the 50k mark. Not everyone has the means or is wanting to spend that much on a new SUV, but the expectations set by this range-topping model, pun intended, could lead to some letdown when you look at a trim a little closer to that base price in the low to mid 30Ks. Let's start by talking about engine and drivetrain. Standard Santa Fe will be powered by 2.5 liter inline turbo four cylinder, making 277 horsepower. This engine will only compare with an eight speed wet dual clutch transmission. There will also be a hybrid powertrain offered, though not officially available yet. This will be a 1.6 liter turbo four cylinder paired with an electric motor and battery for a combined system output of 231 horsepower. All hybrid Santa Fe's will come paired with a six speed automatic transmission. While there are five trims offered with a 2.5 liter turbo, there are only SEL, Limited, and Calligraphy variants of the Hybrid. While the Hybrid's not available at the time of recording this, I'll try to call out any differences between the Hybrid and non-Hybrid models as I cover those respective trims. Front-wheel drive will come standard on all trims, including the Hybrid trims, except for the XRT. H-Track all-wheel drive is standard on the XRT and available on all other trims, including the Hybrid models. Towing capacity is rated at 3,500 pounds for the 2.5 liter turbo models, with the XRT rated at 4,500 pounds. Hybrid models will max out at 2,000 pounds of towing capacity. We'll compare each trim level with all-wheel drive and the standard 2.5 liter turbo engine to keep the comparisons of the trim levels as even as possible, but we'll include pricing for each configuration. Let's do it. Standard features on all Santa Fe models will include a 12.3 inch touchscreen, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, HD radio, Sirius XM, Bluetooth hands-free phone system, high power USB charge ports, two in the front and two in the rear, 12 volt power outlets, one in the front and one in the cargo area, Hyundai's Blue Link connected car service, proximity key, push button start, four wheel disc brakes, an electronic parking brake with automatic brake hold, a hands-free power lift gate with auto open, an underfloor storage tray, power release folding second row seats, 50-50 third row seating, leather wrapped steering wheel, a two level storage armrest with bi-directional opening, air conditioning, second row HVAC vents, solar control front glass, rear privacy glass, acoustic laminated front side glass, rear seat quiet mode, power windows with driver auto up down, power door and lift gate locks, LED auto on off headlights with automatic high beams, LED accent lights, daytime running lights, and tail lights, LED interior lighting, heated side mirrors, trailer pre-wire connection, and a temporary spare tire will come standard on non-hybrid models. Standard safety features for the Santa Fe will include blind spot collision warning, rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist, parking distance warning in forward and reverse, forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian, cyclist, and junction turning detection, lane keeping assist, driver attention warning, safe exit assist, trailer sway control, lane following assist, lower anchors and upper tether anchors for child seats, a power window lockout button, rear child safety locks, an anti-lock braking system, 
electronic stability control with traction control and brake assist, vehicle stability management, a tire pressure monitoring system with individual tire indicator, hill start assist control, downhill brake control, and a backup camera with parking guidance. We'll start with the base SE trim. There's no hybrid variant available here, but here's how the pricing breaks down. For all-wheel drive with the standard engine, we'll start at $35,750. In addition to the standard features, the SE will include 18-inch alloy wheels, body color side mirrors, cloth seating, a six-way manual driver's seat with two-way power lumbar, a second row bench seat, a cloth headliner, which we'll see on the SE, SEL, and XRT, 4.2 inch color multi-information display in the gauge cluster, rear occupant alert, and a hyper silver front grill. Let's talk exterior color options for the SE. You'll have to forgive me. Usually I show renderings of each trim and the available colors, but the Santa Fe is so new, I wasn't able to find any. Available exterior colors will include Phantom Black, Shimmering Silver, Hampton Gray, and an Ecotronic Gray, which is not expected in production until May of 2024. And there will also be Serenity White, which will add an additional $470. Interior color options will be either black or gray cloth. Both are available with all exterior color options. Next, we'll step up to the SEL trim. Think of the SEL as an SE with some upgrades. Standard engine all-wheel drive configuration will come to $38,250. That's just gonna be $2,500 more than an equivalent SE. And here's how the pricing breaks down for the other configurations. Features added above the SE will include LED turn signal indicators on the side mirrors, roof rails, HTEC seats instead of cloth seats, an eight-way power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar, heated front seats, dual automatic climate control, Hyundai Digital Key 2, third row HVAC vents, wireless device charging, auto up down for both front windows, advanced rear occupant alert, which adds ultrasonic sensor and blue link integration, and forward attention warning. The SEL is available with a hybrid powertrain, and there appears to be pretty much the same equipment as the non-hybrid, but you will see a different wheel design. Exterior color options for the SEL will include Phantom Black, Shimmering Silver, Hampton Gray, Ultimate Red, and Rockwood Green, and that Ecotronic Gray, which again is not expected in production until May of 2024. There will also be Serenity White for an additional $470. Interior color options will be either black or gray HTEX, both available with all exterior color options. Now let's talk the XRT trim at $40,600. This is gonna be the more rugged model, only offered with all wheel drive and not offered with a hybrid power plant. You also get 8.3 inches of ground clearance over the standard seven on all the other trims, which helps in giving it more favorable approach and departure angles should you choose to leave the pavement. Some special touches here will include 18 inch dark finish alloy wheels, all-terrain tires, gloss black side mirrors with LED turn signal indicators, a glossy dark chrome grille with gloss black bumper grille, matte metal black C-pillar and door side garnish, black badging, XRT badging, a C-pillar assist handle, we'll only see this on the XRT and calligraphy trims, black h -Tex trim seats, other features we'll add will include onboard navigation and traffic flow, including incident data via HD radio, dynamic voice recognition, 110 volt power outlet, Hyundai Pay, a conventional sunroof, navigation-based smart cruise control with stop and go and curve control, and Highway Driving Assist 1. Exterior color options for the XRT will include Phantom Black, Shimmering Silver, Hampton Gray, Ultimate Red, Ecotronic Gray, Rockwood Green, and Terracotta Orange, plus Serenity White for an additional $470. There are also matte paint options available, which will add $1,000. This will include a matte version of the Ecotronic Gray or Earthy Brass. The only interior color option for the XRT will be that black HTEX. Let's add a little more luxe with the limited trim, coming in at $45,150 in all-wheel drive non-hybrid configuration. That's almost $5,000 more than an equivalent XRT, or almost $7,000 more than an equivalent SEL. Here's how the pricing for the other options break down. 
That added price premium will get you 20 inch alloy wheels, body color power folding side mirrors with LED turn signal indicators, leather seating, a heated steering wheel, an eight way power driver's seat with four way power lumbar, an integrated memory system for the driver's seat, an eight way power passenger seat, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, a melange headliner, premium soft door panels, a Bose premium audio system with 12 speakers. We'll also add two high power USB charge ports to the third row for a total of six. A 12.3 inch fully digital instrument cluster, surround view monitor, blind spot view monitor, manual rear side sunshades, an auto dimming rear view mirror with home link, ambient interior lighting, rain sensing wipers, a dual pane sunroof, a UVC sanitizer compartment in the upper glove box, parking distance warning for forward, side, and reverse, and remote smart parking assist. With the limited trim also being available with a hybrid powertrain, features will remain virtually the same whether electrified or not. And unlike the SEL hybrid and calligraphy hybrid models that have unique wheel designs from their non-hybrid counterparts, the limited appears to offer the same wheel style. Exterior color options for the Limited carry over from the XRT, so you've got the Phantom Black, Shimmering Silver, Hampton Gray, Ultimate Red, Ecotronic Gray, Rockwood Green, and Terracotta Orange, and also Serenity White for that additional $470. You've also got those $1,000 premium matte paint options, which include Ecotronic Gray and Earthy Brass. Interior color options in the Limited will be black leather or gray leather, which are available with all exterior colors, or a pecan brown leather interior, which is not offered with the shimmering silver, ultimate red, Hampton gray, or the terracotta orange. If you want something a little more bespoke than the Limited trim, let's talk the autobiography. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean calligraphy, starting at $48,300 for the all-wheel drive standard engine configuration. That's a relative bargain at just over $3,000 more than Limited. Here's how the other configurations break down for pricing. Features offered above the Limited include 21 inch dark finish alloy wheels, black badging, glossy black lower rear bumper, dark metallic bumper molding, a unique front grille, glossy black door lower trim, dark metallic C-pillar and door side garnish, C-pillar assist handle, premium quilted Napa leather seats, driver seat leg cushion extension, second row captain's chairs, which include power fold and dive, power reclining and tilting. That means this trim will only seat six instead of seven. Eco suede microfiber headliner, a two-tone leather wrapped steering wheel, a 12 inch head up display, dual wireless device charging, power windows with auto up down for all windows, a camera based rear view mirror, expanded ambient interior lighting, blind spot collision avoidance assist, highway driving assist two, premium map pockets, and quilted premium soft door panels. Just like the SEL hybrid and limited hybrid, the calligraphy hybrid appears to come almost identically equipped, but will have a unique wheel design versus the non-hybrid calligraphy. Exterior color options for the calligraphy carry over from the XRT and limited. So again, we see Phantom Black, Shimmering Silver, Hampton Gray, Ultimate Red, Ecotronic Gray, Rockwood Green, and Terracotta Orange, plus the Serenity White for an additional $470. Also our $1,000 premium matte paint options remain, Ecotronic Gray or Earthy Brass. The special and extra luxurious calligraphy interior is offered with quilted Napa leather in either black or gray available with all exterior colors, or an extra special forest green and beige combo which is not offered with the Shimmering Silver, Ultimate Red, Hampton Gray, or the Terracotta Orange. That will sum up our trim levels. Let's talk nationwide inventory and see what you could drive home with. With hybrid 2024 Santa Fe's not yet being available, we just see inventory for models with the standard 2.5 liter turbo engine. SEL models appear to be the expected volume seller with over a thousand all-wheel drive models available right now and just under a thousand of the front wheel drive models. XRT models and all-wheel drive limited models also should have plenty to choose from. This is pretty typical for most new cars. We see most of the volume toward the middle of the lineup and both the highest and lowest end trims with the least available inventory. It'll be interesting to see how these numbers might change once the hybrid variant is available and if demand will match or exceed the volume. 
Time for our top picks. This edgy new Santa Fe will certainly turn heads and absolutely will set itself apart from anything else you could compare it to. But which one might be the right one for you? Let me just take a moment to say, as someone who's spent plenty of time studying the different trim offerings and pricing of many new cars, the simplicity of the Santa Fe and most of Hyundai's lineup is refreshing. Only five different trim levels are offered and no costly option packages are required to add the most desirable features. Just pick a trim and you'll know exactly what you're getting. Even the pricing for all-wheel drive or hybrid trims is simple. Just take the base front-wheel drive price for each trim with the standard engine, add $1,800 for all-wheel drive, add $500 to each of those for the hybrid price. About as simple as it gets, and that's a good thing for buyers. If you happen to be cross-shopping this with something like a Toyota RAV4, we did a video on that as well. And if you watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Inventory numbers paint this picture as well, but the sweet spot for value will fall to the SEL trim. A modest increase in price over the base SE trim gets you some nice added features and safety tech in addition to the long list of standard features offered on the Santa Fe. The XRT trim will appeal to those looking for an even more rugged look. And unlike other manufacturers offering a more off-road styled trim, Hyundai actually includes more features without a huge price jump, but those looking for something more conventional could be perfectly satisfied with the SEL. The limited trim has about every feature needed to satisfy even the pickiest of buyers. I'll include myself in that group, so no shade. Incentives and inventory differences may make this even more appealing, but on paper at least, the calligraphy is not a huge price jump over the limited for an abundance of nicer finishes inside and out and every bit of tech the new Santa Fe has to offer. The nice thing is, no matter which one you pick, you'll still get that incredible styling and a well-executed family hauler. Let us know which one you'd choose in the comments below and what you think of these all new looks. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe and remember, life's too short to drive a base model.